We're in today with the legendary Radeon X850 XT. This is a 2004 video card with 16 pixels and 6 vertex, 256 megabytes of GDDR3, a 256 bit bus width with DirectX 9 support running at uh, 520 megahertz on the core clock and 540 megahertz on the memory clock i'm gonna pair it up with this intel core 2 extreme qx uh, 6850 with four cores and four threads i'm gonna see how this uh, combination the system with this gpu it's running in a couple of games let's jump in okay let's start with infernal i want to see how the game is performing because uh, i want in the future to test this game in with other video cards and uh, let's click on the settings i got eight by 600 i think uh, 1024 is the resolution for uh, for this uh, video card every single time i, I was doing a, a little testing on this 1024 was the best resolution ever ah look at this it looks fantastic okay so on maximum details in the game apparently with 1024 i get some very interesting performance so let's see how the game is working kind of cool to see the game running like this because uh, getting closer to a finer list when it comes to old titles and uh, old hardware. Theoretically today, we're gonna see how it's running on uh, on this uh, X850 XT because it's a fantastic GPU, very interesting GPU. But at the same time, I'm curious how it's running with the, with the QX6850, uh, you know, because it's a freaking awesome CPU. This is maximum details on 1024, so I'm not gonna judge uh, the game. I'm just gonna look around and see how it looks and how it performs. So in this situation, you can see that I got like nearly 100 FPS on average with a uh, decent amount of system RAM being utilized from the system. The GPU is doing a fantastic job. Half of the VRAM is only utilized. Every nice averages on the FPS. The system is uh, barely utilized with 800 megabytes of system RAM. So overall, it's okay, you know. Uh, the details are good i like the game can't wait to test more video cards with this uh, with this game and uh, yeah i'm actually curious how in the future other video cards will hold but this one is doing a fantastic job with this uh, system seriously this game is kind of cool to see and i can't wait to test uh, more video cards let's jump into driver and see how the game is performing with uh, this video card on high details i think this is high details yes all right let's see how it's working 50 fps on 1024 with this gpu you know but uh, i think it's the core itself if not the cpu because you can actually see that it's only using one core of the cpu and it's on 70 degrees so i think there is a problem there with the gpu Okay, I can put a uh, higher resolution on maybe. All right, I'm just curious to see if I increase the resolution, does it do anything to the computer? Because I keep seeing that CPU being uh, utilized at maximum. So I got like 40 FPS now. I can actually see that it's using like first core and second and third and fourth core. They are being utilized to 10, 20%, but that's it. Very interesting to see drivers, how it's performing with this combination, with this uh, GPU and this uh, CPU. Does it work? Yes, it's averaging really nice. I don't like the performance on the CPU though. Uh, it's only utilizing one core and the, the CPU is reaching 70 degrees. It's not very uniform on the CPU load. On the system RAM, it's uh, nearly 900 megabytes of system RAM, so one gig yeah it's it's around there you know you need at least one gig of system ram to actually play this uh, game let's take it to 800 by 600 what do you think okay so the cpu load is the same 69 68 degrees you know 30 40 percent load on the on the cpu still the same amount of uh, system ram being utilized but you can actually see now the cpu it's uh, using different cores first second and uh, started to use the third and the fourth i like the performance i like uh, now the fps see 800 by 600 in the city it's much better instead of uh, 900p and i want to see how it runs on maximum details i think it's maximum 1024 i think do i have a bigger resolution 1280 with maximum details okay i'm curious now 60 fps 57 oh my god is 47 I'm so proud of this system. See, this is how it needs to work. I actually thought that the CPU was bad, you know, but with better video cards, look at this. It looks so glorious. I want to go outside there and actually look at the car, seriously. <laughs> looks fantastic. I like the details. I like this idea of uh, this underground too on maximum uh, details. I like how it's working, the video card, but you can actually see that the video card is not being utilized. Yeah, I, I, I think the core is in this situation because the VRAM, it's only 60 megabytes of VRAM. 
so you can actually see the 23 ms 24 ms maybe the core it's uh, yeah i don't think the core it's uh, it's lagging i think the cpu instead i want to see how it's running with 800 by 600 with maximum details i think this is that type of uh, playstation 2 resolution you know for this game this is how it needs to be played you know it feels very snappy 700 megabytes of system ram you can actually see a couple of cores in uh, in the cpu that is doing the job like the second and the fourth core is like sleeping you should disable them and uh, reduce the consumption on the power from the cpu 65 degrees 3.3 gig of on the on the clock the cpu is doing a fantastic job and uh, yeah i like the overall performance but 70 40 megabytes of vram 37 38 that's that's yeah it's kind of useless you know to have this with the card but the core speed does help you know i don't need 256 megabytes of vram but i need that clock speed from the gpu so it can deliver this performance in the game if it makes any sense so maybe we can find other games that can benefit from that vram but we want to see definitely we need to see how most wanted is working with this uh, system because it's uh, a big step up in the system requirements so on the maximum details with 800 by 600 from previous game we are getting 85 fps on average with 57 megabytes of uh, system ram utilized the more i play the game the more i, I roam i noticed that the vram is going up so not uh, complaining about the system because he's doing uh, such a fantastic job Look at the system RAM being utilized, nearly one gig of system RAM, two cores only, apparently Underground 2 and Most Wanted, they have this uh, need of using only dual core CPU, I don't understand, but it's okay, you know, the quad is here, if in the future I need a game that requires quad core, oh well, at least it's, it's there, and I like how it's performing. This is exactly what I need from the system, I got uh, barely 20% load on the, on the CPU, 60 degrees that's the only indication i need from this uh, from the ms afterburner that the cpu is not being utilized 60 degrees if i won't have only one core that is maxed out that means it's okay in the same range of the temperature if i have two cores that is being utilized at maximum then i will have around 70 degrees on the on the temperature so 60 degrees it's kind of good it shows me that this game and the previous one they all need only dual core cpus and the system RAM, uh, in this case, it's around one gig of system RAM and is delivering 96 FPS with good MS. 14, 15 MS is good for a system like this because uh, it feels very fluent. And on the VRAM side, I got like uh, 90 megabytes of VRAM. Do I like how it's performing? Yes. Can I increase the resolution? Yes. Can I make the um, system run slower? Yes. But it depends on, on you, you know. I like 800 by 600 because it feels more retro. It feels more old school. Hellgate London, let's see how the game is performing on 1024 directx 9 dynamic lights enchanted weather antistropic filter let's try put everything on i actually thought that the system the cpu will not do its job look how beautiful the cpu it is i like uh, the performance wow i like the weather i like uh, everything about this look at this the cpu is utilized in uh, every single uh, core the system RAM 1.7 gig of uh, system RAM being utilized. You can actually see that the temperature is getting higher. That means it's being utilized. Yeah, I like I like everything about this. Seriously, in some cases it's running with hundreds of FPS. In some with 40 FPS, 20 on MS. On the GPU side, nearly 200 megabytes of uh, VRAM being utilized. Overall, the the system is doing a fantastic job. It looks good. It looks very apocalyptic. It's exactly what I want from a game like this with uh, decent FPS decent uh, amount of uran being utilized from the gpu so overall everything is uh, flawless in this game this is one of those games that it feels more arcadey you know and uh, i think on this system is going to run really nice 1024 without v-sync everything it's on maximum uh, details let's see how the game is running overall the system is doing a great job not a great job a fantastic job because uh look at this hundreds of fps and i get uh, to use the system perfectly 
I got more than two cores, nearly three cores on on this CPU that is being utilized. But you can actually see that a dual core is necessary for this uh, system and uh, it's going to run really nice with hundreds of FPS on uh, 1024. The system RAM is uh, perfectly balanced here. You got like uh, on the system RAM, what, 600, 700 megabytes uh, of system RAM. This is kind of good performance from the whole system and the mess is uh, kind of ideal. No, I think you can increase the resolution, but it, it, like I said before, the old, the bigger resolution feels more uh, retro-ish for this type of game. The performance is good, it's on point, it doesn't stress the system, everything is just flawless with this. So yeah, let's see how Doom 3 is working with the system. I'm uh, currently not having any stats on the, on the VRAM uh, utilization from this game, but I do think uh, is running really great because i'm on uh, 1024 with ultra quality yes and apparently the system is doing a fantastic job even if i'm on maximum detail 60 fps very constant 16 uh, 17 ms on the on the frame rate you know the system ram is being utilized 1.2 gig of system ram and all of the cores are being utilized in such a way that uh, Marine, makes the experience Kelly. You great time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to mars city out based on the temperature the system it's uh, very well balanced we know with 62 degrees 63 all the cores are being utilized the system ram is around one gig of vram oh system ram but uh, i really like it can i take that one give me that i want it swap it uh, give me that range doesn't matter i like the system overall uh, how it's handling the game on uh, 1024 with uh, maximum details it's a great experience that's it there is no question about it it's doing a, a really nice work and uh, yeah i like it i like the whole idea of this Harry Potter. But why? Because I want to see if this game is utilizing the VRAM. And in this case, it's utilizing the video card's uh, VRAM. 182 megabytes of VRAM. Do I like the game? Yes, of course, because it's one of those games that is utilizing the system resource very well, you know? So 60 FPS, very, very good. 700 megabytes of uh, system RAM. The cores are being utilized nearly perfect, you know? So there's no complaint here about this. Uh, game and how it's running on this computer in this situation you can actually see that the system is doing a fantastic job 68 66 uh, 65 degrees on the on the temperature on the cpu all of the cores are being utilized the the system ram it's under one gig 730 megabytes of system ram but it's uh, kind of good to see the whole system uh, coming together you know and being utilized giving you the best performance so in this game apparently it's uh, kind of fantastic and the GPU is doing the job, the VRAM is being utilized, everything is good with this uh, system itself. So I have no complaint, you know, this is the right game that is for this uh, hardware. Definitely an awesome video card that uh, needs to be taken in consideration when it comes to retro gaming. There's a lot of games that I can play on this video card and when it comes to old titles that 256 megabytes of uh, vram it's useful but you have to give the gpu the right uh, games that can utilize it the system itself like the cpu it started to come together but because the more powerful the video card it is the better it is for the cpu and the gpu itself now 2004 is this video card very how should i say affordable not quite because the prices are getting higher on this type of hardware and uh, are not very available so but if you do manage to find an x850 xt like this i think it's worth having it in the collection because it's uh, yeah it's a very rare video card if i if i can say that if you like the performance smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah i'll see you very soon